many ways this could be seen as a, as a win for the palace, that they'll have Harry there without some of the controversy, but perhaps a reconciliation is pushing it a bit too far. Yeah, I think perhaps you're right, Isabel. I think it's fair to say it's been a pretty turbulent time between the Sussexes and the rest of the royal family in recent months. And as you said, Eamon, it is the first time that Prince Harry will see extended members of his family since the controversial Netflix series and his bombshell memoir, Spare. But yesterday, the timings of the two statements, one from Buckingham Palace, one from uh, the Sussex spokesperson, um, pretty much identical, to be honest, both released around 3 p.m., suggest some kind of coordination and cooperation between Buckingham Palace and um, and the Sussex um, camp, as it, as it were. Uh, and I think that perhaps is after weeks of, you know, what, what the Mail has described as transatlantic ping pong, these delicate negotiations of, of will they, won't they attend the coronation. Now, of course, we know that Prince Harry is going to be attending the coronation and only Prince Harry. Now, some people are saying that this is perhaps a snub from Med Meghan. Remember that it was King Charles who walked Meghan down the aisle in the absence of her own father um, during the, her wedding to Prince Harry. There's reports that perhaps her de the, the Sussex's demands not being met for some kind of apology from the royal family, and perhaps she's concerned that the British public won't be too happy and will give her an unwelcoming reception um, in central London, on the streets of central London, if she did attend. I think that's all just speculation, to be honest. Um, I think perhaps what's more likely is the fact that uh, it is Prince Archie's fourth birthday on the day of the coronation. So perhaps Meghan wanted uh, to celebrate her son's birthday in private, away from the limelight, uh, uh, despite the fact that it is the coronation. Perhaps she's putting her children first ahead of any form of royal duties she perhaps feels she has. Um, but Harry, of course, is returning. He's returned a lot more often to the UK than Meghan since Megxit in 2020. The King is reportedly very happy that his youngest son is going to be at the coronation. But the other big question, of course, is reconciliation with Prince William. If you remember in Prince Harry's memoir, Spare, he accused his oldest brother of physically attacking him, him an allegation that Kensington Palace has not commented on. I think perhaps that is unlikely. Yes, they're both going to be in the same room in Westminster ha Abbey, but I, from my understanding, it is going to be a very fleeting visit. So I think hopes of any reconciliation uh, is very unlikely between the two brothers. But whatever the reason for Prince Harry attending and only Prince Harry, the Sussex soap opera is certainly continuing. It's just, the, the announcement yesterday has just given more ammo, hasn't it, for everybody to speculate and papers to talk about it, of, of, of the relationships, the private relationships between Prince Harry and the rest of the royal family. But I think perhaps from Buckingham Palace's perspective, by releasing the statement now, just a couple of weeks before one of the most important days of the King's life, they're hoping by the time it comes to the coronation day, the spotlight will be first back on the King and Queen Consort. Um, I just wanted to ask you about uh, any more of the details that we know about the roles of the different senior royals in all of this. We understand it's going to be a blink and you miss it visit from Harry. He won't be on the balcony, he won't be in the procession. Do we know who will be in that royal procession after the coronation? I, I gather the Wales's children might be making star appearances. Yeah, so um, traditionally we would have the princes of the realm and the royal dukes pay homage to the sovereign at the coronation. From my understanding, although it hasn't been confirmed by Buckingham Palace, uh, it's just going to be Prince William who is going to be doing that. So no Prince Andrew, no Prince, and uh, no Prince Harry there. In terms of the procession, we are expecting the Wales's children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, to take part in the procession. I expect they will also appear on the balcony for the fly pass following the coronation from what the working assumption is that it is like the platinum jubilee only going to be working members of the royal family on the balcony uh, but again buckingham palace has not confirmed but prince george is going to be one of the pages for uh, his majesty the king as well so he's got a special role on the day